Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to take a look at SAP S4 HANA Cloud. I'm already logged into my SAP S4 HANA Cloud system and this is the start screen. Let's start with the structure of the launchpad. As you can see over here, we have two different tabs as of now. My home, where all the most important information is being displayed. And then we have a section called administration, where we could administer our SAP s cloud solution. Then you can see we have here a section called pages. Pages are a way of structuring our launchpad. I have a whole video about the pages and spaces structure. I will leave you a link in the description of this one. As you can see, different pages are now assigned. We could click on one of those pages, for instance, this one over here. And then we are forwarded to the business process management page with different groups and tiles assigned to it. Let's go back to my home for now. Furthermore, you can see a section called apps where our favorite apps are listed. For those apps being displayed, we could click on this symbol over here and change the color if necessary. So this will change the color of the icon. Also, we could create a group. So for instance, we could say payments, click on next, and then we assign two so-called applications to our group, click on create and close. Now you can see here we have a group payments with our different applications assigned to this group. Also, we can click on most used. Over here, we can see the applications that we frequently use. And on recently used, we can see the last applications that we accessed during this session. Okay, so far so good. Then you can see here there's another section called insights. This is for specific Fiori apps used for data analysis. So for instance, the cash flow analyzer app or also the monitor purchasing analytics operations app. Here we could also click on add tiles and then we can click on add from app finder to add applications from our app finder. I will show you the app finder in a minute. So for now we will say cancel. Then you can see here in the upper right hand corner, we have different other icons. So first of all, there's this search symbol where we could search for different objects within our SAP s hana cloud solution. We could restrict the search here, for instance, for apps, so that only apps are being displayed. But if we leave it to all, we can also search for, let's say, master data records or any kind of documents. I could just start typing. Let's just say payment, for instance, and now you can see the different applications that relate to whatever I typed in over here. We could click on one of those applications and then we are forwarded to a detailed screen. So far, so good. Let's click on back. Next off, we have here the built-in support. So as you can see here, we can search for SAP support knowledge. Let's say we want to know more about this overview over here. So we click on home and then we could search different SAP pages that give us more information about the topic. Also, we could click here on this little symbol where the built-in support is being displayed in the video tutorial and further links are being displayed. Good, we could also click on the user symbol where we even have more advanced support options. For now, this is fine. Let's close. Next off, there is a help symbol over here. And this symbol provides more information about different icons and functions of our SAP s cloud solution. So we could hover over each and every question mark and then there's more information being displayed. And this information is always context related as you might notice. There is also the option to have a quick tour on our launchpad to access the SAP community or access the information for the different icons without even hovering over them, but just by going through them over here. We can click on this icon to minimize the help view. Click on this one over here to access the learning center or community and on this one over here to see what is new in SAP s hana Cloud. So far, so good. Next off, there is a bell symbol here. If activated, important information is being displayed. As an example, there could be pending documents that need our attention or even critical situations. Those could be displayed over here by different filter criteria. And we have one more symbol. This is the user icon. Let's click on this one. Now you can see recent activities and frequently used. Here, the recent activities and frequently used apps are being displayed and we can directly navigate into them. 
Next off, we now inspect the app finder, click on this one. And here we can see all the applications assigned to the user roles that were assigned to our user. So the applications you see over here depend on the user roles assigned to your user. And now you could just click on the plus symbol for applications that you want to add to your favorites. Then you can decide where you want to add them to either to my home and or also to another page. Click on OK. You can see your changes have been saved and if we go back to the launchpad I have this button we can see under favorites that the application managed banks was added successfully let's click on the user symbol again now we come to the settings section here in the appearance tab we could select the theme of our launchpad so right now I'm here on the morning horizon theme however we could change for instance to sub high contrast black click on save the page will reload and now you can see Everything is being displayed in black. Let's go back. Settings, Sub Horizon, Save. And we are back to the initial view. Next off, click on Settings again. You can see we can decide whether we want our user activities to be tracked or not. If they are tracked, then the activities and frequently used apps are being displayed under the tab I've shown you before. Or we could also deselect it so that none of the activities are being recorded. Here, we can change the language and region also the time format, time zone, the decimal format, and also the week numbering. Then we have a section for default values where we could insert, for instance, a company code. And then when we access different applications, the company code will already be pre-filled with the value we set over here. The same also counts for lots of other objects. There is a tab called notifications where we could enable that we want high priority notification alerts with this bell symbol over here. And then we can also decide whether we want to track our search activities and use a personalized search scope. Click on cancel for now. Click on the user symbol. We have an about section where more information about our SAP S4 HANA cloud solution is being displayed. We also have my user sessions. So this is quite handy. If we have multiple user sessions, so multiple logged in users, then we could also delete the sessions over here. Click on the user symbol. On the My Home settings, we can also decide what kind of sections we want to be displayed. So right now, News and Pages, you can see here, Pages. If I deselect this button, then the structure changed. So this is just an example like that. We can also go further down to the Pages and here decide what pages we want to utilize. So as you might notice here in the background, now the structure changes on the inside tiles which would be this section over here. We can also decide what should be displayed. The same counts for inside cards, if there are cards available. And then on the advanced, we could even export our current selection. Click on close. And last but not least, we could sign out via this button. This marks the end of the video. I hope you liked this small introduction to SAP S4 HANA Cloud. If so, then please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. See you next time.